Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to take an element and add a an outline to that element. Maybe you want to add glitter uh, around the element or glitter accents inside. Uh, this was a question that came up in our Facebook group, and I want to share how I would uh, do this type of effect with you. I just have one favor to ask you that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe and turn your notification bells on. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to search for a bow and we'll use a graphic element. It doesn't matter whether you use a graphic element or a photo element for this, but you will want something that is transparent. And I'm going to use a free item for this effect. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to toggle the uh, price to free and I'll select something from here that is free. So I'll place this item on my workspace. Now I'm going to make a copy of that element and for this one I'm going to take it and I'm going to make it white. Now if you can make it white from here uh, that works well, but as you can see, it's really not turning white. So that this, the color choosers are really not working here to make this element white. So I'm going to undo this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit instead, because I want this ele element to be 100% white. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to dual tone and I'm going to change the uh, highlights and shadows under the custom option. I'm going to change it to white and that will change the element shadows to white. And now the highlights, I'm going to do the same thing to change it to the whitest white. I'm now going to just go back to the edit panel and I'm now going to add an outline shadow. So I'll add an outline and that's um, okay for thickness depending on how a thick you want your outline, you can uh, make that decision. Now I'm going to take this one step further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of this page. So I'm on page three right now. And just for, for reference, I'm going to grab this bow and I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to position it behind the white bow and I'm going to take the white bow right now and I'm just going to decrease the transparency a little bit just so I can see right through it. And we're going to now go to tools. We're going to use the drawing tools for the next step. So I'm going to use the draw option and I'm going to change the color to black. And if you want, you can also change the thick thickness. This is the thickness or the weight of my marker. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, maybe uh, 10 points. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw. So I'm just going to draw over carefully like that. And if you make a mistake, you can always just undo and redo the part that you want to um, redo. I'm going to also just close. I'm also going to close this circle like that. I'll add a few lines here. And you can also use um, lines in here as well if you prefer straight lines. So if I click on a line, I can just grab this and I can just position it where I want if you prefer straight lines like that. So I can duplicate that and I can just position them where I want. And if you want those lines a little bit thicker, you can also make them a little bit thicker by coming up here and just toggling the thickness a little bit. And if you want the line a little bit curved, you can also change 
shift it to curved, and then you can just adjust. Once you're happy with your design, what we're going to do is we're going to come back up to position and we're going to get remove that pink image in behind. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to increase the transparency of that white, of the white object. Um, we're now going to go to share and we're going to download this. We only want page three. And I'll say done. I'm going to add another page and I'll bring that design back in. And now we're going to remove the background. So as soon as it finishes uploading, we're just going to select BG Remover. And that should remove the background of that image. Let's go back in to check. Yep, it looks perfect. Now I'm going to uh, copy this bow. So I'm going to press Control C. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to add that bow here. Now for this next step, I need a background and what would be great is to have a white background, but a lot of the white backgrounds have texture in it and I, what I really need is some, a, a solid background. So I'm just going to search for any kind of a background for this next step. So I'm going to clear the option for free elements. And I'm just going to search for a black background. And this is fine right here. I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to move that background in behind my bow just so I can see both of these elements. I'm now going to go to apps. And I'm going to search for an app called uh, Image Cutout, which is right here. This is what it looks like right here. And what I want is I want to select that back black background. So I'm just going to go back and I'll say you selected image. And down here we have the option for the cutout type. Now there isn't an option for a bow. So what we'll do is we'll just use our own image and I'll click on that image of the bow and I'll say use selected image. And I'm just going to uh, position the bow in the middle. Usually we can see the bow. I'm not sure why we're unable to see the bow, but that's okay. Um, We'll come down here and we'll say add to design. So here it is right here and we can see that it's made a cutout of that bow. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to bring this over here and I'll just make that a little bit bigger like that. Let's go back and let's place uh, any type of a background um, there. So I'm just going to search for a floral background and I'll choose this background right here that is very pretty and I'm going to make it a little bit uh, more transparent like that and I'm going to take the position and I'm going to put it behind that overlay so there it is right there I'm not going to grab this black overlay we're going to go into edit and we're going to change the color to white because it does need to be white so i'm going to go back to duotone i'm going to select custom and i'm going to change both the highlights and the shadows to white and i'm going to make that a little bit larger like that we're now going to download this design so that we can convert it into an image. So I'm going to go to share. I'm going to go to download. I only want page six and I'll say download. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to bring that image right into Canva. Here it is right here. 
Now, you'll recall that this bow has the background. You need to have the white background. So don't remove the background. Leave the white background on the bow. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm just going to make that a little bit larger like that. We're going to go back up to the outline that we created. So I'm going to grab this, Control C, and I'm going to bring this down here to this image here. And I'm just going to put that right there. Um, and we're going to go back to the Image Cutout Maker app. So here it is again. I'm going to click that and I'm just going to scroll up. I'm going to go back. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select that layer with a bow and I'll say you selected image. Here it is right here. And for the cutout type, I'm going to use my own image, which is the bow outline that I created. So I'll say image and here it is right here. So basically the object is to just overlay that border right on top of your image. And it might be difficult for you to see. And if it is, what you can do is just press control and plus, and that will increase your screen size so that you can see a little bit better. All right, so there it is right there. Um, so I'm going to zoom back out by pressing control and minus. And at the bottom here, I'm just going to say add to design. And here it is. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to bring that uh, image right down here so we can take a closer look. I'm going to make that a little bit larger. So here it is right here. And we're now going to go back up to our elements. And we're going to search for some glitter. So a uh, gold. Uh, I'm going to search for some black glitter. And I'm going to go to position layers and I'm going to move that behind my overlay. I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to hide that. Remember, this is an overlay. So if you need it to be transparent, then you'll need to download it and you'll need to bring it back into Canva and remove the background. So here it is right here. I'm going to duplicate this page and let's try something else. I'm going to remove that black glitter and instead I'm going to add a shape and for the shape I'm going to come down and choose this gold and black design. I'm going to make that a little bit larger like this and I'm going to go back into colors and this is a gradient and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this option right here and I'll come back. I'll go to position. I'm going to take that gradient and move it behind. And here is what that would look like here. So which one do you like better? Do you like this uh, gradient gold effect or do you like uh, this type of effect? Now, it definitely would be a lot easier if this was a drag and drop frame, but creating frames is a little bit more complex. It is something that I do teach in my live classes. And if it's something that you are interested in, then join my live classes and I'll show you how to create uh, frames. So what did you think of this tutorial? I'm going to link this item in the first pinned comment. This is a custom made frame. It is one of a kind and unique. If it's something that you're interested in purchasing, I will leave the purchase link in the first comment. So what did you think of this tutorial? Did you learn anything in this tutorial? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to join my live classes, 
let me know and I'll give you more information. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.